Hey guys, this is Rob Amos here. In today's video, we're going to go and tour the Endeavour Centre in Peterborough, Ontario. Now, the Endeavour Centre has been running since 2011, and it's run by Chris Magwood and his partner Jen. And they are doing some of the most incredible work with this not-for-profit. They've got a tool library, they're doing R&D, they teach natural building courses, and their students are going on to basically go and change the world. They're changing the way that construction happens all across North America and even sometimes the world. And so within the center, they practice natural building or sustainable building is probably a better way of saying it um, as they're non-dogmatic towards the materials that they choose as long as they meet specific criteria. In other words, they're not toxic. They're really moving towards kind of carbon storing materials, which ends up becoming more natural material in, in essence anyways. And uh, they've got a little classroom there, and so, so all sorts of courses uh, get taught there. I've taught a few permaculture courses out there. And just a really neat place to go and learn. So if you ever are thinking about natural building or any of these sustainable practices, anything from permaculture to building technique, you may want to check the Endeavor Center out to see what they have going on uh, this year, next year, into the future, because they've got some really neat stuff happening. So. Take a look at the interview, you'll see some of the projects that Chris is working on with regards to natural stains and innovative new flooring techniques uh, and different building methodologies. And if you're interested in the Endeavor Center, make sure you check the link in the show notes below and you can connect with them. And yeah, let me know what your thoughts are. You can leave your comments in the comment section below and if you get something out of this video, give me a thumbs up. Alright guys, talk soon. I'm Chris Magwood. I'm a director at the Endeavour Centre and the Endeavour Centre is a sustainable building school and so what we do here is teach a lot of programs on uh, particular sustainable building materials and we also run um, a couple of longer intensive courses where the class actually builds a, a whole building with us from start to finish. We started at Endeavour in 2011 and there was a group of us that had been teaching a sustainable building course at a community college in the area and just decided that you know we wanted the center to be able to grow and offer more kinds of programming, uh, have more community involvement, do more on the material research side than we were doing at the college. So um, we kind of left the college and uh, banded together and started Endeavor. That was in 2011. A lot of different things uh, happen at Endeavor. So uh, everything from you know maintaining a really great library of sustainable building books. Um, we also run the Peterborough Tool Library. So that's a, a tool sharing resource. So people buy a one-year membership in the Tool Library and then are able to borrow uh, any of the tools in the library to take home for their own projects. But by and large, what we focus on is teaching people hands-on building skills and that can be everything from really basic carpentry skills to particular sustainable materials such as hempcrete or straw bale or say earthen floors. And then our, our sort of core program is a uh, sustainable new construction and sustainable renovations program that we actually undertake a, a real world building project for a client and the students get to see and participate in that project right from sort of the, the very beginning phase to the final finishes. Yeah, we work with a lot of new materials or uh, work on sort of taking old materials and putting them in new contexts here. So yeah, before we undertake putting a new material into an actual building project, we'll do a lot of um, prototyping here. Um, so formulating different mixes, figuring out different forming systems, um, we've built a lot of experimental prefab wall panels here. Um, so here's where we kind of figure out, you know, what the approach can and should be and figuring out the sort of parameters where we think this will work. So we do that work here and then we'll quite often take those ideas to uh, a building construction lab, say at Queen's University or somewhere like that to start doing actual, you know, structural testing and, and those sorts of things. But yeah, a lot of the, the initial sort of just playing around with different materials will happen here. What we do at Endeavor is really 
broad in a lot of ways. And so I guess there's our graduates have gone on to done, do a lot of really interesting things. We have people who do run their own full construction companies now, which is kind of what we thought was going to happen. That's who we thought our full-time program was going to turn out. But more than that, what's happened is people found an affinity for a particular part of a project that we were doing. So somebody might get really taken up with earthen floors or solar panels or green roofs or, you know, some aspect of that. And so quite a few people have gone on to form sort of subcontracting companies. They've sort of specialized in one really unique part of sustainable building. And so rather than going out and becoming contractors doing full buildings, they've kind of honed in a, on a specialty area and have done that. And, and that's really great because that allows them to sort of take even what we do here, start to take it further and, and sort of refine, you know, some of the techniques and materials and things and sort of get better and better at it by focusing on just that one element. All right, what we've got here is some experiments with earthen floors, which is something we've done uh, a fair bit of. And what we're doing is, uh, or what I'm trying to figure out here is, is there uh, a benefit to putting some of the oils which we usually treat the surface of the earth floor with? So quite often a linseed oil mix is what, the, what goes as the surface treatment of the floor. And what I'm looking at is if I put that oil right into the mix, do I get a better result? And if so, can I make the earth floor thinner? So typically we do about a three quarter inch deep earth floor. And what I'm trying to find out here is can I you know, go as thin as maybe an eighth of an inch um, because of the added strength of having the, the oil right in the mix. And right now the results seem to indicate that probably the answer is yes. So um, an eighth might be a bit thin, but we can probably do a, a sort of a quarter inch rather than a three quarter inch mix. Well, what we were playing with here is uh, making our own wood stains. And essentially what those stains are made out of is uh, different types of vinegars with steel wool melted in it. So if you put steel wool in a, in a, uh, in a vinegar bath, the steel wool will dissolve. And so you basically get a, a mineral treatment for the wood. And then we've also looked at, you know, how do different types of vinegar make those colors? Some of them we've added uh, coffee and tea into them. And just playing with, you know, trying to make protective stains for woods that are decorative and non-toxic. So yeah, just sort of playing around, seeing what uh, seeing what happens when we when we combine those different natural ingredients. And do the um, mineral treatments actually protect the wood because it's creating an oxidation layer or something? Yeah, yeah. So again, we don't know the the exact degree to which that happens, but but having that steel content broken up into very you know tiny sizes does definitely reflect a whole bunch of uh, UV from the wood, um, so it'll provide some degree of protection. But mostly what we found with those uh, stains is that they tend to give the wood the same kind of patina that really old wood gets without going through that really ugly phase of the wood going from bright and blonde and sort of like slowly and unevenly fading to really nice sort of grays or browns. We can sort of bring it to that gray or brown right away and, uh, and then it stays like that over the long term. So would this be equivalent to something like Lifetime? Yeah. Yeah, essentially, it's very similar to Lifetime. It's us formulating our own version of that and, and trying to also create a different color palette of, of that same kind of stain. All right, well, this is something uh, relatively new to us, but definitely not new. So this is uh, a Japanese wood treatment uh, called Shushugiban, and essentially what you're doing is burning the wood. And there are all kinds of different uh, ways to do that, but we just used a, a torch and you sort of do a quick pass over the wood and you sort of char the outside uh, edge of the wood. And what I just love about the shishugi ban is A, the color is really beautiful. There's not a lot of range of color, it's black. Uh, but the great part about it is the wood doesn't ever change color, like it doesn't fade. Insects don't want to go to the burnt wood. If there's damage to it later on, you can reburn it. Uh, more or less free way to treat wood that lasts, you know, as long as the wood will last. So, you know, you get a good 100, 150 years out of one simple finish like that. We are in the Peterborough Tool Library. So when you come to the Endeavour Center, this is sort of the, the first thing you find when you open the door. And the notion with the Tool Library is the 
whole inventory of tools here is available to our members to borrow. Um, so just like a library for books, but you take home tools and you can take them home for a week at a time for a $50 a year membership. Right now we have about 200 members. The use of the tool library, you know, it really goes through uh, some seasonal swings. So we have a lot of yard and garden tools that obviously, you know, come spring. A lot of people are coming in for those. People doing, you know, deck and yard projects in the summer, home reno things. But yeah, we're open three days a week. And uh, in general, there's a good, you know, steady amount of people kind of coming in and out. The idea for the tool library came because with Endeavor, we have uh, a big tool collection because when we're in uh, full swing and both of our full-time courses are running, we need a lot of tools, but then we realized, well, an awful lot of those tools then just sit for the other, you know, half of the year. And uh, that's what kicked off the notion, but then, you know, we realized that we would have to build up an even bigger collection of tools. So Jen Fagan worked really hard to get the donations together, you know, raise the membership. Um, she did a big um, uh, public campaign fund and, uh, and that's really what got the library up and running. I think, I would hope that what people take away from the Endeavor Center is that it's, it's relatively easy to figure out the building systems that make sense, that make uh, ecological sense and financial sense for people. So what I really hope that uh, people who come to our website and people who take our workshops learn is that all of this stuff is quite approachable and while there's a, a pretty deep pool of knowledge behind it all, the actual hands-on application of a lot of this stuff is, is really straightforward and really approachable and applicable not just to the person who, you know, has a beautiful farm property and is setting up, you know, the, the house of their dreams out in the woods, but um, for people doing small renovations, large renovations, like there are good material and finish options for every part of a building. And so no matter what it is you're tackling, whether it's like a small bathroom reno or a complete build, um, that it's worth exploring what the, the alternative building world has to offer. The Tool Library and the Endeavor Center uh, each have their own websites, uh, which you can probably see at the bottom of this video. The complete inventory is, uh, you can see it online, so you can check your tools um, online. And our complete list of courses at Endeavor is also online, uh, as well as lots of information about all the materials that we work with here.